Hello everyone. In this video, we are trying to go through SAR analysis in Auto Engine. If you have followed this channel previously, there has been videos related to SAR. This video is the continuation of the SAR related topics. The quotes are from the trainings developed by Kennedy Donka of Delta. In the Orthogen tutorials in the community section from the training resources at the Delta section, we can access the presentation. Uh, within that presentation, the codes uh, have been shared. So the codes are divided into four different parts. The first one is about Sentinel one data, uh, about uh, collection and uh, filter, uh, filtering. The second one is about exporting the data. Uh, the third section is about reducers. The fourth one and the final one is related to Sentinel one time series. My objective of this video is to interpret the codes and try to share my understanding about the related codes. Uh, the codes have been edited very little. Uh, hope this will be helpful. So let's begin. So we have our area of interest that is Rotterdam Harbor. This harbor is somewhere in the province of South Holland in the Netherlands. Uh, these codes comes from Delta. Delta is the Institute for the Research in the Field of Water and Subsurface. So I wanted to share this, uh, share why this particular location has been chosen uh, in the codes. So we center the object by map to center object. We are working with Sentinel one GRD collection and we are bounding the area or we want to have the images that contains the uh, contents that point. So this is very uh, common way to do it. We can also print the image collections and for identifying the modes, uh, this area in particular uh, receives both the uh, IW and EW modes. So let us Remind that there are four different modes uh, in Sentinel One, uh, and this place, Rotterdam Harbor, receives the advantage of getting the images in both uh, the modes. Uh, a double mode is primarily for sea ice, polar zones, and it contains uh, maritime areas. So Sentinel One, as the European satellite has been designed in such a way uh, that European countries uh, would get more advantage of that. So we filter the metadata, uh, filter metadata as selecting two different modes. Uh, so this metadata comes from the image properties. So for this EW case, uh, the images are not arranged uh, in a particular way. And we can print them and check more in the uh, console. However, we are just going through the codes for this demonstration. Uh, we can sort the images based on the time and select the first image. Uh, so the resolution of the modes are different for I double and E double modes. And this can be checked by selecting the bands and by dot projection and dot nominal scale. So this gives the resolution of the image. The bands then can be added as clear. Uh, these are similar to the optical images. But we have to zero. Uh, about selecting the bands and selecting the minimum and maximum values. And even at the layers tab, uh, if we check this in the layers tab, 
uh, here we can select uh, different bands uh, and change the range of the values, change the opacity, and uh, can explore with different parameters. So these are the questions um, or the comments from the main author. Um, these are helpful for our own uh, thinking process. So these are uh, further uh, further filtering of the image collection based on the uh, based on the bands, uh, based on the vital properties, uh, whether it is ascending or descending. Uh, the thing to know here is that uh, we use the filter functions uh, for most of the work. And the common and popular function, this uh, filter date here, dot filter date is commonly used. So uh, this is to select the images uh, between these two dates. So these all uh, filtering methods can be combined and uh, used for our own advantage. Or we can also check other specific image properties and work with that as well. Composites can also be met. Uh, this is done by ee.image.ct. This helps to combine different images, uh, images with different properties or images with different dates. So these are all grouped uh, as the bands. Uh, so this is later helpful for uh, visualization. Composites can uh, contain different bands and the bands uh, can be used uh, in different channels uh, for the visualization. So that is the helpful part of the composites. So here we have the example of selecting um, sending uh, here at VV, we're selecting the VV band uh, and VH band uh, from two ascending uh, and for descending, we're selecting the VV and we are uh, combining or we are compositing uh, the different bands. So there is also the other way, we could also have directly calculated the mean of the image collection. So this one works only with the collections. Uh, making us uh, making making it a little flexible uh, flexible um, so this is the way just to do or combine different uh, bands and you can certainly add uh, ms that you are. so i'm from nepal uh, for our case um, let us show this example here. Let us comment them all. And so this line here is the point or our um, specific area of interest. Uh, this is the Pokhara is the uh, city's name. So we are centering uh, the object and we want to check the meters from that area. So if you're on this, so for this particular case, we get the features uh, that is related to IW modes only. And if you check the bands, we only have VV and uh, VH bands. So uh, this particular uh, area has only the advantage of receiving IW mode. So this concludes the first section. The second sets of codes are related with exporting of the image. Uh, polygons have been written as the line here. This can also be done from the drawing toolbar here. 
drawing is easy. We can draw any sip like this. Then it appears at the very top. If we click here, this can be copied in the code editor. So this is to show that there are different ways of doing it. So here we have the repetition of the codes, uh, particularly selecting different uh, image properties, uh, different metadata. Um, we can also sort the images. So the ways of uh, sorting the images is by dot sort. Uh, this is the new thing here. So if we, um, if we set this as false, it gives us the latest image. And if this sort property is true, it gives the earliest acquired image. This is to show the uh, sorting of the images. So these are again, as similar to the previous codes. Again, this can be added as the layer. So filtering can be done with multiple filters. We're selecting VV and VH band here. Our orbital properties are ascending and we are sorting the images as true. We can develop the function to convert the selected image collection as three band RGB image. These converted images can be later converted as the GIF or video. The function is export.video.to drive and for exporting the image is export.image to drive. There is the small if attached to the beginning of the expert function. This has been somewhat geniusly done not to run the export function each time uh, when the codes are run. So we have to actually set the previous code as true and sorry, previous code as yes, then only the export functions will work. This appears uh, at the talk section. So this is just to show, uh, go through the codes. So I'm not going to exactly export the images. Um, so this concludes the second section. So we move to section three. Um, the section three is about the users. Uh, the first points or the first sections, uh, first codes are uh, similar to the previous parts. Uh, this is all about working with the metadata and image properties. Uh, we have the function here down below to convert uh, dv to power and vice versa. So this is applied to the image collection and reducer function can also be applied to a single image only. This has been done to a single image only. So here is a function developed as a find lay filter. Uh, filter like uh, lay filter walks around the pixel and it's neighboring pixels changing the original pixel values in different ways. So there is a table from the SAR handbook. Uh, in chapter two, there is a helpful table to understand about the speckle filters. So this might be helpful uh, if we are new to this. Understanding speckle filter is more than the course, um, but this is to show here that the 
uh, this is absolutely possible to replicate in our thinking as well. So I hope to prepare maybe in future our related contents just based on speckle filter. Uh, speckle filters, I believe, are the core topics of SAR. However, let me uh, let me skip uh, them for now. The other one, uh, the other one, uh, other filter is called the boxcar filter. The authors um, wanted to let us compare the two different filters along with the unfiltered maze. So I have already run this code. So here to compare, we have three different layers. The first one is the unfiltered maze. Both the two filters are exaggerating the mazes and it is making more brighter. So this is my way of interpreting the filtering uh, sent in one filters. So again, uh, the speckle filters are more of the match. Uh, it is understanding about how the pixels are being changed. Uh, so this, uh, this concludes uh, section three. So we move to the final section about creating the time series. So for this, we have different polygons. So we need to have the basic understanding where these uh, interested polygons remain or interested polygons lie. So these polygons need to be converted to the feature collection. So here, three different variables are being created uh, based on the different polygons. So this ee.feature collection changes those polygons into the uh, new feature collection. Again, we select the uh, interested band. So here we are selecting the SP and we are working with other uh, image properties. So um, time series is uh, done through ui.chart.emise.series by reason in Arthur. So we provide different parameters uh, and we set the chart type as line chart. And for this, we have to add different uh, parameters. So we are working with this feature collection. We are reducing the uh, band value with mean. Our interested uh, band is as to be. So, so this is how we do the time series in our thinking. So the basic idea is to draw the chart. And we are providing here other information that will appear in the chart. And this can be replicated to other uh, feature collection as well. So this one is for the second one. And the third one is for the last feature collection. So I have already done this. So this is being done for SV. And this here can be done with other bands as well. So if we run this and see in the console, uh, we get something like this. And this concludes six and four. So I hope this video was helpful for you for some extent. I hope this content uh, ignited your curiosity and for the learning. So any comments or questions are welcomed. So thank you for watching.